Hello, my name is Tina Waddington, and I'm the Executive Director of the Phoenix Committee on Foreign Relations. Welcome. We hope you enjoy the program today. It was 40 years ago that a group of internationally minded Arizonans first banded together to raise awareness about our state's role in the changing global environment. While the first few meetings were held in informal settings and at private homes, this movement quickly grew into a well-organized and respected institution, gaining status as an offshoot of the prestigious New York Council on Foreign Relations. This important affiliation provided PCFR with unmatched access to renowned speakers on a variety of timely topics, from national defense and global security to politics and business. These conversations have provided PCFR with the foundation to grow into what it is today, a major regional international policy center addressing the biggest challenges in our world. We are thrilled to be hosting the ambassador to Canada, David McNaughton, and the undersecretary to Mexico, Carlos Silo. These relationships are so important to the state of Arizona. And they're not only important to our economy and to our prosperity, they're also important for the peace, defense, and security inside our country. On behalf of the Phoenix Committee on Foreign Relations, my name is Brett Johnson and I'm the president of the organization. I would like to welcome you all to the 13th Annual International State of the State. We are delighted for you to be able to join us this evening for this historic event. I want to thank all of you again for joining us this evening. It's my honor to once again be here with the Phoenix Committee on Foreign Relations and so many of Arizona's closest friends and partners for the 15th International State of the State. Governor, I think I can safely speak for the Phoenix Committee on Foreign Relations. Thank you for the leadership you've shown in the area of international trade and international policy. We really thank you very much for your leadership thank you, Jim. in this area. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for being thank here. You. Please join me in thanking Congressman Colby and Governor Ducey for their inspiring and hopeful comments today.